We're going to spend a little bit of time on De Morgan's theorem because it's extremely useful for inverting entire Boolean functions. Um, it's also used heavily in discrete math and set logic, um, philosophy classes, and you can really think of it as a rule for how to distribute complements to inputs that are anded or ORed. Um, and the term complements is another way of saying inverting or negating. Those will all be kind of used interchangeably. So um, let me just kind of recap from a previous video. The definition of De Morgan's theorem for ORing. So if we have two inputs, X and Y, that get inverted, then um, we can simplify this or change it by basically distributing this not to each of these inputs and changing the OR to an AND. So it looks like this. We give the X its own not, we change the OR to an AND, and we give the Y its own not. Okay, so that means that if we have um, X and Y ORed, and then the output gets inverted, we can replace this with if we took x and y, inverted them first, and then took those outputs of the inverter and anded them. Okay, so this circuit is equivalent to this. And just as kind of an aside, a lot of times in circuit diagrams, instead of seeing the inverter actually drawn out like this, um, you might see this little bubble on the end. So that means there's an inverter on the end of this OR gate. So you might recognize this as a NOR. And then same story over here, instead of seeing these inverters drawn out, you might just see a little bubble on each of these inputs before they go into an AND. Okay, so these two gates are basically equivalent by De Morgan's. So this is the um, logic gate array equivalent of what this is telling us algebraically. Okay, cool. So then for De Morgan's, for an AND gate, it looks like this. If we have um, two inputs that are getting ANDed, X ANDed with Y, and then we invert that, that can be replaced with distributing the NOT to each one of these inputs and changing this AND to an OR. So we distribute the NOT, we change the AND to an OR. Okay, so this is De Morgan's for ANDing. So this means that if we have X and Y NANDed, basically right AND, and then taken in the in inverse of that, then we can replace that with um, inverting X, inverting Y, and then taking those inverted inputs and ORing them together. So in the next video, I'll show you some examples for how we simplify Boolean functions using De Morgan's theorem.